That is sick. Hi, I'm Marcus Bronzy. This is How To Kill An Hour, and it's time for another episode of What's In The Box. When you see this logo on a box, it's no joke. So I'm not even gonna mess around. There's a transformer in here. Let's get it out. This is a voice controlled transformer. Which transformer is it though? Well, a little hint on the box there. Only one of the greatest of all time. Just before we get in the box, let me talk you through what this does though. We've got the voice controlled interactive play. We've got the manual control via the app. We've got complete missions that it can do and an action library, which I've nerded out on and apparently you can add more actions to. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Ooh. I'm excited, you know. Little Robertson logo there, that's a... Uh... What have we got in here? What have we got? What have you got? Optimus Prime, well, obviously it's Optimus Prime, isn't it? We've got Optimus Prime's gun here, we've got some accessories. And we got an axe as well. Some extra little stuff in here. I don't know what this is. Transformer stickers. Power lead as well, which is... I'm in the UK. That's not gonna run for me. Um, that's an AC adapter for 100 to 240 volt volts max, but I ain't seeing, I'm not seeing an adapter for this plug. So um, here's hoping it's got some charge in it because if it hasn't, I won't be able to um, fire this, this bad boy up. So here we go, whipped out the quick start guide. I'm gonna need this to crack on. Um, quick start guide says, hold down this for five seconds. Greetings, I am Optimus Prime. It's got power. Hey, Optimus Prime. Greetings. Convert. That is sick. <laughs> no way. Look at that. Since I have been a little kid, I've what? He's breathing. Since I've been a little kid, I've wanted a transformer that can do this. Trans... I don't think it stops there, you know. Who are you? I am the leader of the Autobots. Okay, and there's also an app which comes with this, which we're gonna have to we're gonna have to toy with an app with this. I can control it through Bluetooth. I can see the battery. I can watch tutorials, but let's get straight to it. Let's connect. Connection complete. Yes. Um, be cool. I can make it be cool. Do not allow robot to carry the blaster or the axe when doing movements. He's being cool. Little bits of detail like the little lights and stuff like that down here they, they look ace i feel like oh man this is 10 year old me is absolutely gas happy birthday greetings from cybertron i am optimus prime 
I am granting you permission to have the greatest birthday the universe has ever seen. Roll out. Energon running low. Oh, that must mean he has a low battery. Roll out. Sick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, he can do more, but I think we're gonna need a bit more floor space. So um, let's get out there and let's crack on. Energon running low. Hey Optimus Prime, transform. Hey Optimus Prime. Oh, he's dying. Battery's dead. Oh, his battery's died before I could even finish putting his bits on him. All right, we're gonna have to charge him up. We're gonna need some more floor space anyway. I'm gonna find my transformer with a charger on it just because that charger looks a little bit foreign. I'm gonna double check and make sure it works. Uh, and then we're gonna see what else this can do. And see what else we can do here doing indeed. Cause I mean, look at it. This robot can transform. <laughs> this is it just riding around the kitchen area. Um, and as you can see, you can also drive it around as well. Optimus does talk and make noises as you drive it around and this is probably the ideal kind of flooring for it, if I'm honest. Nice hard floor, carpet seems to, you know, one, um, didn't kind of seem to transform as easily, and two can get a bit fluffy. Uh, and you can also program in a bunch of moves, which I'll get to in just a moment. Um, this is one that you can download from the app, which is a Kung Fu style one. So you can see, really see the motion and movement, which is probably one of the most impressive things about this robot here is that, look at, look at the arm movement, the hands, the elbows, this is what makes it so, look at all that, it makes it so fascinating. Sorry, I just got, got, got caught up for a second. Anyway, wait, I'm meant to be doing voiceover. So yeah, as you can see, like the 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 actual mobility of this is an app is really fantastic. And we've got something really cool coming up that you want to stick around and watch as well, like this. One foot in the air. Yes, <laughs> Optimus can do that. <laughs> I love it. As well as having these pre-programmed in martial art moves as well, there are some ones which come out of the box, which have some official licensed music, which we'll get into in just a second. And then also we've seen some modders out there, which uh, the guys behind the production of this robot uh, are very happy for people to get involved and create their own kind of motions as well. Um, loving the lights, loving the movement here. Also, when we have the um, add-ons with like the axe and the gun, there's also some movements that even though they say you shouldn't have them on, whilst Optimus is making some of these um, passes and these motions, they are designed specifically for it. Go oh, on, you flex those muscles, mate. So yeah, this is just showing you some more of the motion, so Optimus can do push-ups as well. Which I think is entertaining to say the least. Go on, Optimus, put some welly in. And we've also got some great lower body movement coming up as well. But I think if we can have our robots looking as fantastic in Optimus Prime, I think we can have Decepticons. Here you go, here's some of that licensed music. <laughs> I think you can also make sure that we have some other Decepticons in there and other robots, which I think they are adding to the range. As the time this video comes out, you should see some of those as well. Um, time to show you some more of the movements that are programming. This is just scratching the edge of it, by the way. Here you go, some punching from Optimus. With some sounds in there as well. There we go. You can hear that. You can actually hear sounds as he's punching as well, which is pretty awesome. And this is showing you some more lower body movement as well. Look at that. Look at that. Fantastic. So as well as the push-ups, you can see you can do, I don't know what those exercises are, mountain climbers or whatever, hill climbers, I can't remember. And uh, you can see, look at that, that's full motion to roll backwards. We can also get him doing some sit-ups as well, which I think you will see in just a moment too, but I mean, this is one heck of an impressive, look at those squats, Press of <laughs> heck of an impressive robot. I mean, they seem to have got all the balance worked out really, really well, which means if this is what Optimus is doing now, Imagine what we've got these robots and these, you know, toys doing in a few years time. And in terms of the price point, I mean, in the UK, it's looking about 800, 900 pounds. It is a lot, but I think this is something, someone who likes to have a little bit of fun with their robots and have something that they can show to their mates when they pop over. There's nothing better than having people chilling out at mine. And I just go, hey, Optimus, transform out of nowhere. And he goes, Ooh! 
Anyway, I've been Marcus Bronzy. This has been How to Kill an Hour. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, and we'll be with you soon. Peace.